She purchased this on, are you ready for it? Whatnot. For $6.40. Sold on eBay an hour after listing for $150. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got another Bolo Buddies featured members video. What does that mean? It means I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, share your best February Bolo, and I invited the members of the Facebook group to share their Bolos. I also invited my Bolo Buddies YouTube members to share. If you are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member at level two, you will get a shout out and a shout out or a mention, whatever you want to call it. I pop up your eBay store or your YouTube channel, and then I also link you down in the description. It's a great way to get exposure for your eBay store and your YouTube channel. So definitely check out memberships if that's something that interests you. If not, no worries. There is no pressure to join memberships. It is for perks, and being in this video is completely free, so anybody can share. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for being here and watching. I appreciate the support so much. And we are going to get started with these big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Those are going to go at the end um, in the blooper section, as long as I remember to put them there. Can't leave it here. Oh my goodness. You guys would be like starting the video like this. This lady's crazy. I just, maybe I should leave it. Maybe you guys would be like, what else is she going to do? What else is she going to say? We should stay. No, they're going to the bloopers. All right. So this first one comes from Rhonda. She is a moderator of the Facebook group. So what I want you to do is I want you to go down below, go to her YouTube channel, pick a video and thank her for being a moderator. But while you're there, watch the video because she has awesome what sold videos. She also has videos where she's uh, picks a topic and she will tell you about it. And it's usually like a specific thing. Most of her videos are short, precise, to the point, and you will learn a lot. So definitely sub her up. She is called on YouTube, Got Junk in Our Trunk. Now you can remember that, right? This is it, and it's linked down below. And Rhonda, thank you for all you do for the Facebook group, for helping keep everything under control. We all appreciate you. Purchased in a lot from a dealer friend who was purging inventory. Cost of goods was 10 cents. Sold for full asking price. Item was cool two inch in size. Opened and still had original grave memorial soil inside. What? Did she say grave memorial soil? That's interesting. It is a vintage Rome reliquary. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. Holy crucifix, catacomb, pocket shrine, Roman soil Catholic. This is what it looks like. And it sold for $49.99. And those keywords are incredible. This one comes from um, Dare to Dream Big 1313. She does not have a YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. She's linked down below. She purchased this on, are you ready for it? What not? for $6.40. Sold on eBay an hour after listing for $150. She said, I had three lots at $50. I did my research and thought I priced too high. Glad I did buy, glad I did. Buyer had to have them to complete his collection. They're called Jigglers Finger Puppets from Stevens MFG Company. So she got them on Whatnot for $6.40 and flip them for $150. You guys, if you are not on Whatnot, even if you don't like- You're like, I'm not doing Whatnot. I'm not selling on there. I don't want to buy on there. This isn't a reason why you should at least like go check it out, okay? So I have a referral link down below. If you click on that, you can go follow me. I am Bolo Buddies. And you're also going to get $15 of free money to shop. So at least spend the $15. Maybe you can spend $15 and spend it and turn it into over a hundred. So you can buy something to resell, right? Worth a shot. So these are Jiggler's finger puppets. How incredible is that? I've never seen them. Have you? 
I love new bolos. That is awesome. All right, the next one comes from The Restless Thrifter, and this is her um, YouTube channel. And she said, these mid-century modern cubist cats sold for $80 on Mercari. I paid about $10 at an estate sale. They were cracked, chipped, and had been glued back together and still sold for good money. They had no brand or markings. You guys, I love it. I tell you all the time, I sell broken stuff all the time. Just because it's broken doesn't mean it's not going to sell. The Restless Thrifter. Nice little tip right there. She also found these um, for $80 at the Salvation Army. She said, I took a risk paying up for these, but they were beautiful. Sold for an offer of $288.88 plus shipping. Oh, I can't. I can never say these. I think it's Lucius. 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 Lucius boots. They're boots. Lucasi. I think I got it. Lucasi. <laughs> did I get it? Did I get it? <sighs> I think I got it. If I didn't, just pretend like I did. Uh, exotic leathers do great. And this is what it looks like. Because you guys taught me how to say it. And I think I remember somebody putting in the comments, Lucasi. I might be way wrong, but that's okay. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. All right, let's see. Here we go. Um, yay, here are two so far this month. I bought these jams, J-A-M-S, vintage swim trunks at an estate sale over a year ago for a dollar. Stuck to my guns with a listing price of $85. Took a best offer of $75 on eBay. Second one is Light Up Church Easter Decoration from QVC by Valerie Parr Hill. I bought this at a church sale for $3 and sold it for $84.15 on Bonanza. My channel is Thriftaholic on YouTube if you would like to check it out. I plan on taking your memberships so I can get a call out in your great videos. All right, the next one comes from Bolo Buddies member YouTube channel Abigail's Artful Abode. And if you want to talk about classy, elegant, awesome, like amazing items, you have got to check out her channel. She just has this flow about her channel. Um, this is what it looks like. And she does a lot of items that I don't sell. So you will definitely learn a lot from her. She said, bought this set of four tear drop ornaments along with a ton of other items at a garage sale this summer. I maybe have $2 into them. They just sold for 75 on Etsy, uh, maybe listed for two months. I was at an antique store picking up some items and noticed this little four inch ceramic medallion. The minute the lady told me she had bought it from someone who brought a ton of stuff from France, I said sold. It was $10, but it's French. I listed it right before I put my shop on vacation and sold within two days of returning for $74 on Etsy. And this is what it looks like. Here is another one from Abigail's Artful Abode. I rarely do online auctions because my time is so limited. So I try to plan my time on the road strategically and there are they are so limited on when you can pick stuff up. But this set really appealed to me and I was happy to win it for $19. Of course, pickup was in a spooky forest at night with limited visibility. So there was a lot of whining about that, but not when they sold on eBay for a best offer of $130. I included shipping on this one as part of the offer, and this is what they look like. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, I cannot read. So it says wood, atlas, candlestick holders, candlestick holders. I can't read it. It's so tiny. This came in a huge plastic box of this and that. I maybe paid 50 cents for it. Took a best offer of $30. It's a cross-stitch ta tapestry, tapestry, I always mix that one up. Tapestry of Adam and Eve, which with which the apple tree and with the apple tree and serpent. Oh my goodness. Check it out. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Uh, vintage Adam and Eve embroidered religious forbidden tree serpent garden of Eden. How cool is that? So it took a best offer of 30 bucks. That's fun. I found these at an antique store, paid $10 for them and took a best offer of 30. It's a watermelon pitcher sugar and creamer set. Uh, that is another fun little uh, item. Look how cute it is. 
All right, got this in a lot from Donatella Bottolino and it sold in less than a week. I don't know average prices for the box I got, but there was a ton of great stuff to list. Donna has awesome reseller lots. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. So Donatella Bottolino is on YouTube and she is Donatella on whatnot. So if you use my link down below and get the $15 of free money to shop when you join, that's a referral link. Maybe you can buy something from Donatella. Um, but anyway, this is a Royal Dalton vintage figure the orange lady 1953 it's got an rn number and it says early stamp original and it sold for 134.08 that is awesome picker money flipper it's an ebay store it's a new member so either way go down and check them out in the description bought this at a family run estate sale for ten dollars Listed it for parts for $199.95. Sold in 30 minutes for $186.95 plus shipping. Crazy for an item that does not work, parts only. If it did work, it could have been worth $650 to $1,000 depending on the condition. It is a receiver. It's a vintage Mar Mariantz, uh stereophonic receiver, parts only. But... Yeah, the parts can go for crazy money. So yeah, definitely. That might be another one that may be good to start on auction because if you have two people that need the parts for that item, it could get bid up. Bought these at a local Goodwill. Paid up for them at $8.99. Just sold them for a best offer of $100 and buyer paid shipping. Ralph Lauren Vintage Dylan's Grove Multicolor Floral Twin Sheet Set. Uh, sold for $200 uh, on, it looks like an auction. Ralph Lauren, anything Ralph Lauren, if it's vintage, if it's not vintage, look it up. There is so much Ralph Lauren that goes for big money. It is definitely worth looking up. This one comes from eBay store Rosie Ray Reseller. She is a Bolo Buddies member and she's new. So um, if you haven't went and clicked on that little heart on her eBay store, definitely do that. That is a way to follow the eBay store. You'll get coupon alerts. You'll get um, notifications when they list new items. It's a great way to follow people and support others. Um, she said, I got this perpetual calendar clock at an estate sale for $1.50. Didn't know what it was at the time. Just thought it looked cool. Could only find one other for price comps. After hanging in my dining room for a couple of months, I di decided to list it. It sold the next day at full price. What a thrill. Just love it. And it is a vintage Burwood perpetual calendar with clock ring, a month, week, day, date, and works. Looks like she sold it for $169.99. And that is rad. Check that out. Okay. The next one. Bolo Buddies member, a little off center. And she said, I bought this Fiesta Ware mixing bowl from an estate sale. It was a cabinet lot. I paid $10 for the whole lot. And the, and the two or three cabinets I cleaned out were very full. I didn't know that this was in there. So I purchased it for very little. I researched it and found it was a very rare mixing bowl because it's size, it's small size was less than ideal for a mixing bowl. I put it up for auction starting at 140. It ended up selling for 220 plus shipping. There were 16 bids on it. After fees, we made $194. A little off center is my eBay store. And this is what it looks like. It is vintage Fiesta Wear nesting mixing bowl. Let's go on here to the next one. Oh, you guys are gonna love this one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is incredible. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay. My best February bolo and my best flip in my three-year career of reselling. 1960s Japanese Barbie dress. I did consult with the amazing Rachel Strickland on this one. If you guys are not following Rachel Strickland, this is her YouTube channel. Sub her up. She has reseller content. She is fantastic. Um, I highly recommend her as well. So um, this gal reached out to Rachel for help on this because Rachel likes vintage Barbie stuff. She said, this lady I knew was moving and she needed her basement cleaned out. She said, just take it all, take it all to the thrift store if you don't want it. It was full of vintage. So this was in a retro suitcase in the back of a closet with some Barbie clothes, with some more Barbie clothes and four 1960s Barbies. Sold two Francie dolls for a hundred. I could only find two comps on this dress, period. 
One sold for $1,700, but was complete with shoes, purse, hat, and belt. That does make a difference. The other sold for $900 and had the belt and hat. Mine had a hole that needed repaired in the back and was missing the chain belt. I listed it for $900 and turned down a few lowball offers. I finally accepted an offer of $600 after considering I had absolutely zero in the dress. I bet my whole town heard me scream with excitement the day it sold and was paid for. So it is a vintage 1968 Barbie Japanese exclusive red velveteen outfit. And here it is. It's incredible. Just incredible. And people will fix them up. If they have holes and stuff, they can fix them up. And then she also included the one right here that sold for $1,700. If you guys kind of want to see what the other accessories look like. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Antiques from Karen, and this is her YouTube channel. Sold full asking price plus shipping. Sat in my store for a year, got it from my inherited estate, paid nothing, but I did invest the time in researching everything I touch. It is a 1972 Dodge Challenger Dart Charger Coronet uh, Polara Monaco chassis service manual. <laughs> yeah, all that. $75. This one comes also from Got Junk in Our Trunk. Purchased from a local online auction for $1. Sold for full asking price of $48.99 within 24 hours of listing. Vintage Drost uh, Cacao Harlem Holland Dutch tin can litho printed empty. I probably chewed that up, but that's okay. Uh, the next one, it looks like a kitty kitty kitten, but it is not. For all the plush lovers, 50 cents at a yard sale. Sold for full price plus shipping in less than two weeks and the paws are a little dirty. It's a dandy calico kitty cat, white brown kitten, black blue eyes, stuffed plush toy. Sold for $49.95. Here is another one um, from Antiques from Karen. And she sold for full asking price, sat in my store a few months, paid nothing, found in my inherited estate, priced on the high end, even though they were uh, there were others listed. Handbook of Mathematics, third edition, 973, oh, 973 pages by Brothenstein. And she sold it for $25. So yeah, those um, handbooks, math, different subjects, they do sell. Purchased a huge Barbie lot. Average cost per doll was just $9. Took an offer on eBay for $132 and buyer paid shipping. Was listed about three months. Right here. It is a Bob Mackie fantasy goddess of the America's Barbie doll from the year 2000. All right. I talked about this in another video. So you guys have probably seen this if you watch my channel on a regular basis. But if not, um, I'm going to throw it in here as well. I just sold this. I picked it up at a garage sale for $1.75. Took a best offer of $70 because the item was damaged. Um, if it was in better condition, it probably could have went for anywhere between $200 and $300. Um, I am Bolo Buddies on YouTube. Check me out. That's what I wrote because this is a Facebook post. But I wanted you guys to see the damage on the belt. Um, just because items are damaged, you can still get big money for them. This is Kiss Band. Kiss Band is a bolo. If you see anything Kiss Band that's vintage, look it up. It's probably going to be a bolo. I bought this at the Goodwill Benz for about a dollar. It's a mushroom-shaped lamp shade without the base. I put it up for auction because I didn't see any others like it, and it sold in a week for $152 plus shipping. The buyer was a metal worker who crafted a cool dragon base for it and sent me pictures. That's cool. It's right there. It's a vintage cast iron mushroom. Hi there. I found these at the Goodwill for 99 cents each. Sold them the same night I posted them. I asked 249 with 15% off because I was running a sale. Thought it was a fun little bolo on these anthropomorphic coffee shelf sitters. They are pretty stinking cute. This is what they look like. So... Great bolo and um, Got Junk in Our Trunk has an awesome video on anthropomorphic shelf sitters. So check that out as well on her channel. We will do one more here. I got this for $4.99 at the Goodwill. 
listed it for 175 and took an offer of 157 in two days. Ralph Lauren Polo Black Packable Puffer Jacket, Duck Down Adult Size Small. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, Ralph Lauren, look it up. Even if it's not vintage, look it up. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which bolo was the most unexpected for you. Maybe something you didn't know about. Um, if you have a bolo you would like to share to be featured in a video like this, head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and look for the Share Your Best March bolo. I look forward to seeing your bolos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel by watching. If you can hit that thumbs up, that would be awesome. If you're not subscribed, if you subscribe, that would be great also. And share out the video if you know someone that could learn from this. Thanks again for being here and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. This one, let's try that again. This first one, now I just spit. Let's try again.